Thanks, Sam Wittes. I'm Bill O'Reilly. In the weekdays of Bernie segment tonight, a column by Mr. Goldberg entitled, Even Heroes Should Be Held Accountable. It's about the conduct of Congressman John Lewis, who Bernie covered while a correspondent for CBS News. Mr. Goldberg joins us now from Miami. So tell us first about your history with Lewis. Well, I was doing a story for uh, the CBS Evening News uh, on one of the anniversaries, I don't remember which one, of the march uh, in Selma, Alabama. And I met John Lewis in Atlanta. He was gracious. He was dignified. And I liked him. He is a genuine American hero who made America a better place, not just for black people, but for all of us. But as I said, and as you alluded to in the lead-in, uh, even heroes need to be held accountable. So what do you think Mr. Lewis's motive has been over the last 20 years when he's excoriated every single Republican running for president, <laughs> compared, uh, I think, McCain to George Wallace, uh, Romney was going to be right, you know, right. throwing blacks out into the street, and now we have uh, this boycott of Donald Trump. What is Lewis's motive? I think he believes, and I'm pretty sure his supporters believe, that John Lewis is a man of principle who acts almost exclusively on principle. So his motives would be it's a, pr a principled response to what he considers the illegitimacy of Donald Trump. He also considered George Bush illegitimate. As you just mentioned, he compared John McCain when he was running for president to George Wallace. He said Mitt Romney would take us back, or at least suggested he would take us back to the bad old days of segregation. And I think he believes all of these things are based on principle. But John Lewis is also something besides an icon, besides a civil rights icon. He's also a hyper-partisan liberal Democrat. And he doesn't always deal with principle. When you, when you try to delegitimize so many different kinds of Republicans, that's political. And when John Lewis goes into the political arena, he can be criticized in a political way. What bothers me, Bill, what bothers me more than John Lewis, who I think is a good man, what bothers me is that his many supporters think that because of his biography, because of what he went through, because he got his head handed to him, in Selma, Alabama in 1965, that he's somehow above reproach, beyond reproach, that you can't criticize him. If you do, you're suspect at best or you're a racist at worst. And I'm saying he's also a politician. And when he acts that way, he's allowed to be criticized. Well, I think his motive is that he is um, a one-party guy, that he doesn't want two parties in this country, and that he says, if it's not my way, it's the highway. And but he so believes. We don't, but, but he doesn't he, respect he anybody. He doesn't respect anybody on the other team. No one. Right. They're all bad. But, he, he, but here, here's why I think that's the case. I think you're right. But here's why I think that's the case. He has supporters in the liberal media and in liberal intellectual circles who have, who have practically said, and, and in some cases literally said, you cannot yeah, criticize they, they, they've, they've inoculated John Lewis. him to criticism because of his heroism in the civil and that rights. Goes, and that goes and, and but that I'm not interested in them. I'm interested in him. And, and yes, at this but I was point, about to say that affects ahead. that affects his thinking. He sees himself as the special kind of person he is, but he's not just a man of principle. He's also a man of politics. But I don't understand what the, where the principle is. If every single Republican is evil, where's the principle of that? Oh, we're not saying he's right. We're saying that's what he believes. But, but, but you see, you know, he's being portrayed as a principled man. And yes. I, my question is very simple because, as you know, I am a simple man. Where's the, yeah, principle, where's the principle in demonizing every single person who disagrees with you? Where is the principle in that? I'm, mat, I'm, I'm not defending him. I want to make this clear. Imagine that you, you, you walked over the Edmund Pettus Bridge in March of 1965 and a bunch of racist state troopers, Alabama state troopers, beat you senseless. One of them hits you over the head and cracks your skull. You think 
This, I know this sounds ridiculous, but you think everything harkens back to the bad old days. So you see, you see uh, I hope Donald that's not Trump, the case, right. who, tr who tried to delegitimize Barack Obama. So he, John Lewis, tries to delegitimize right. Donald Trump. Right. He I hope sees that's not the case, George no. Bush, who he thought was a, was wasn't really right. elected. Right. He and, and same with John McCain. In the case of John McCain and Mitt Romney, it's beyond ridiculous. This isn't it, principle. Absolutely. This is ugly political commentary. Right. All right, Bernie. We appreciate it. Go to uh, BernardGoldberg.com. Read Bernie's column, Waters on Deck. He's